Hello everyone, welcome to iRender. In this video, we're going to guide you on how to use our transfer data tool, called GPU Hub Sync. We first download GPU Hub Sync on the iRender console. Go to Apps. Choose the installer you want, among Windows, Mac OS, Linux OS. Then download it. Next, follow the instructions to install GPU Hub Sync. Now, log into the GPU Hub Sync by entering your iRender credentials. There are two drives. X and Z drives, which are synced to the iRender remote server that you connect later. X drive contains software installers that are available for any remote servers. Z drive contains your data. So, go to Z to upload your data. The process is described as two-way synchronization. You first upload data to GPU Hub Sync. The data then will be synced to the Z drive of the remote server. Subsequently, you can easily sync your output files from the remote server to your personal computer, also through GPU Hub Sync. So let's start with the sync from a personal computer to the remote server. In order to faster transfer data, it is highly recommended to create three main folders. Input folder only for input data. Output folder only for output data. And other data folder. So now, go to the input folder. Upload the data you need to work on iRender. You can check the sync process by clicking the syncing at the vertical bar on the left side. Syncing shows that the folder is being synced to Z drive. Synced means the sync process is done. To save your money, you should boot the image after your data is synced. We're connecting to the remote server. Let's see where the synced data is. As we already uploaded the C4D Redshift folder previously. Now on the remote server, go to Z drive, then open the input folder. All files we uploaded are here. Keep in mind that Z drive is a network drive. However, it's optimal to work everything on a hard drive like C or desktop. So, copy data to desktop before opening it. Move on to the next part. The sync from the remote server to the personal computer. First, on the remote server, we move the output file from desktop to the Z drive. In particular, we move it to the output folder here. Next, from the personal computer, open the GPU hub sync. The output file is already synced. We now just need to download it to the personal computer. That is the end of the video today. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, please comment below. Also, here are other videos that might interest you. Thank you for watching. I render. Happy rendering, happy training.